Hi y'all. Thought I'd do a little video here of my uh, little juniper skiff that I acquired. I guess I've had it two summers now. I got it from uh, I got it from this guy up in Wilmington. He had it in his yard, sitting on a bass boat trailer. The trailer wasn't worth crap, but uh. I later on found this trailer on the side of the road with free sign on it, so I brought it home and put some wheel bearings in it and threw a set of tires on it and it was fine. So uh needs a jack and foot for the jack, but the jack works okay. But anyway, back to the boat. This boat was last registered in the 60s. And uh and I brought it home pretty much. Uh, it'd been sitting a long time and some of the frames were rotten and I replaced the frames These frames in the front were the ones that rotten that were rotten and uh, I Replaced them. They're just two befores. It's a funky miter. I took the old ones out. There's enough of them left that I could I Could use them for patterns and make make new ones and the gunnels were rotten in, in two right along in here somewhere but I scarfed it back together and glued it together and sanded it back down. Uh, the boat was in really bad shape. Um, looked like a piece of junk. Looked like it would fall apart. But it was built out of juniper and somebody had a long time ago put fiberglass on it. So uh, it had some rot in it. And I took a multi-tool and cut it out and we just scarfed stuff in, stuff in with, uh, with epoxy. Epoxy's amazing stuff. It, uh... It came with these really cool cleats on it. I'd say they're original. They're made out of juniper too. And then uh, I put the floor. I put this uh, floor in there uh, out of cypress. I went to Special Woods in Wilmington and bought some cypress. It cost me about $125 for some one by sixes that I ripped down and just run a router on the top side and then screwed them down with stainless deck screws. It's been fine. Works good. It's nice to be up out of the water because if she does make a little bit of water, not much. If it's in all day, there'll be the pump might come on one time. But uh, it's it's fun to have a wooden boat because uh, if you need to do something to it, you just get some deck screws and screw it on there. I screwed these boards on to hold my cooler up front. It, this boat needs weight in the front, so. Uh, I screwed the, the boards on and just threw my old boat cooler in there. I keep my uh, I keep my anchor and stuff up here in this bucket. I keep a couple extra PFDs and and uh, my beach chair because I'm liable to find a sandbar. And just want to be lazy. So uh, I put these uh, these rub rails on. This is two piece of this is a piece of uh, one by six. I ran through a planer. It was a piece of yellow pine. And then I just paint it with cheap old uh, Rust-Oleum blue paint. And it's been holding up good. I painted the hull with that same paint. It's got little scuffs here and there, but it's a it's a work boat. So it'll get it'll get little places in it like you can see here. It'll get a little place and it'll get down to the to the wood and I just uh I just grind it off and put a piece of fiberglass on with epoxy every time it does that. You know, it may uh, it may one day not be worth fixing, but it's been two summers. I've used it, and it's fine. It's cheap, uh, and it's cool. Everybody has something to say about it. They like seeing it on the waterway, especially older people like seeing it. But I added these chairs on, just mounted them on decking boards or... That up there is a 2x8, I think, 2x10. And then I repowered it with this uh, brand new Suzuki 20. Now this boat is about 19 foot long, but it's only uh, five and a half foot wide, almost like a big canoe. So uh, that 20 puts it right up on plane, does fine. But these boats had a motor in the well. They were designed to be used for uh, for nets and so I keep my net back here in this Tupperware because you don't want the sun on your nets so I keep my uh, here in North Carolina we can still run a spot net or gill net um, so 
when the freezer starts getting empty we'll go put the net out but uh this piece back here was rotten too and i put a new piece on so these these boats are designed to put the nets back here and then you put them off without them getting in the prop you can you can play them out the back i usually um, go with a friend of mine and being with him a lot i'm anxious to use my own net so uh this is pretty cool how how everything sits in a well you can see my prop i beat the crap out of it on oyster beds and stuff but this is a using boat i have my sailboat then i have this we actually use this way more than my sailboat because sailboat takes some time to set up it takes me about 45 minutes to stay in the mast up and get it ready and get it launched off the trailer and uh and it's it's hard work so if i just feel like going out on a sunday like i'm fixing to do and just run out to the sandbar you can't hardly beat a good old skiff and really the smaller the cheaper the better i can put a I can put two people on this boat real good and you could put a third person my wife and daughter throw the dog on there. there's plenty of room and there's plenty of room for two men to fish fish on it so uh and it's real stable the way the hole is shaped it's uh it's real stable let me see if i can get a shot of it but you can see how it's how it's made it's got just a little bit of a v and then it's got, I don't know what you would call that. I'm not a wooden boat guy really, so, uh, but it, it comes down on the sides. And the sides are, are nearly vertical toward the center. It's got a little flare in the front. Not much though. Uh, then I added, uh, I added lights on it this year. And this is pretty cool how I did those. Um, get around here and show it to you I took an old uh, box out of a uh, golf cart and uh, I put a battery and this is just a, a cheap lithium ion battery I think it's a 30 amp hour and I, I wrapped it in plastic bags and then spray foam some foam around it so it would stay still in there and then uh that's the power for the lights and the bilge pump and then uh i just took an old electrical household electrical panel box and put uh put two switches on it and inside i put the uh, um i put the the fuses inline fuses inside and then when you want to run the wire you just drill a hole just drill a hole and run the wire uh, that wire is low voltage wire household low voltage wire it's not marine wire it's been fine yeah, if it gives me trouble I'll rip it out but uh just uh showing a little skiff and uh, this is what we use nearly every weekend and I, I usually want two days to take my sailboat out just to make it worth it I'll stay on it overnight but uh it's been a good boat and a lot of fun and I don't have much money in it I guess I got about three grand in that motor but I bought it on uh, online outboards and uh, you can see where I had to put a piece of tubing on the on the water uh, outlet and uh, and then I had to tape it with some Gorilla Tape so it'll spray down it was spraying off into the side of the boat so uh, I did that and I always keep this box it stays on this boat all the time and it's got it's got a copy of my fishing license I've got a radio some uh, some uh, bug spray because bugs are horrible and then that's some the tool kit for the motor and, and a little raincoat and some and some uh, sunscreen but I always keep keep everything here in this boat just like this just 
stays outside, lives outside under the pine tree, so it's covered in pine sap and gets full of pine needles. And every once in a while, I pull out the center boards. Once or twice a year, I'll pull out three or four of them center boards and hose everything in the middle and then back to the back. But this is my bilge pump and uh, drain holes right there. But uh, the only thing I don't want to do this year, I need to do it, is when I ordered this boat motor, I went by the measurements that was on uh, onlineoutboards.com, and this motor was supposed to be fine in here, but I ended up having to cut about two and a half inches out of the transom. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is go ahead and cut it on off and then back and get it glassed over, and then here where the where I tighten up the boat motor on here it's digging into the boards and through the fiberglass so I've got a the vibration I guess so I'm gonna take a piece of aluminum plate or stainless or something screw on there so it'll tighten against that and not crush my transom but the transom is plywood this part is plywood marine plywood and then this part is just two by's looks like maybe a two by six or two by eight when I got it, that the transom had been messed up, so.